Number five, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds. And then I see this huge mess. Yikes. So they gave us a Lewis structure here. I know that it's a Lewis structure because I see that I have these lines here. A single line is called a single bond, and that's just telling us how these individual elements are interacting with each other. When we're trying to find a molecular mass, we don't even care about these. So don't even look at these lines. These have everything to do with electrons, nothing with the mass. Electrons are very negligible when it comes to mass, so we don't even count them. So I'm just going to be looking at the individual elements. Now, on here, I see that I have three different types of elements. I see that I have these SIs, right? And SI stands for silicon. I see that I have these CLs, and CLs stand for chlorine. And then I see that I have these Hs, and Hs stand for hydrogen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just convert what this is into a chemical formula. Now, technically, when you're trying to find the mass, it doesn't really matter, you know, what element you say first in your formula. You just got to make sure that you have the right numbers. I'm going to start with, I don't know, I guess I'll start with the silicons in the middle. How many silicons do we have? Well, I have two blue circles, right? So I have one, two. So I have SI2. Now let's work with, it doesn't really matter, but let's just work with the hydrogens. How many hydrogens do we have next? Well, I have one, two. So I have H2. And now let's do the chlorines. One, two, three, four. So I have Cl4. So this is the chemical compound of my big mess here. Now, in order to find a molecular mass, remember, we, we just list all of the individual elements. In this case, I said that I had silicon, I have hydrogen, and I have chlorine. We have to say how many we have of each. That's why it's super important to just write it as your chemical formula, because it's just easier to just take the subscripts that you have in your formula. So we said that we have two silicon, so I have two silicon. We said that we had two hydrogen. So two hydrogen. And then we said we had four chlorine, so four. Now we're just going to take those values and multiply by the masses that you see on your periodic table. So get your periodic tables out, guys, okay? There's going to be two numbers that you're usually going to see on your periodic table. Just know that these decimal numbers might be a little different from your periodic table. Uh, just know that different periodic tables, they round differently, but the numbers should relatively be the same. Out of these two numbers, right, I see I have a whole number and then a decimal number. Out of these two, which one would, would be the mass number? Turns out that it's these decimal values, okay? These decimals are the average masses of the element that it's talking about. The whole number, so the 14 for the silicon, the 17 for the chlorine, and the 1 for the hydrogen, those are your atomic numbers, the number of protons, not the mass. So these three values are your atomic numbers or your atomic masses. Since we're dealing with such a small scale, right, molecules, molecular, atom, right, we're going to be dealing with AMU. But if you're finding like a molar mass, you use grams per mole. We'll, we'll be seeing that later on. If you guys are on the playlist for this, I, I believe we're going to be doing uh, molar masses after this, so stay tuned. We'll see. But for right now, we're just going to be taking how many we have and multiplying by those masses. So silicon, each silicon is 28.09 AMU. I have two of them, so I'll just multiply by two. Hydrogen, I have 1.008 AMU, and then chlorine is 35.45 AMU, and I'm going to multiply it by 4, so let's, let's go for it. So, uh, silicon, 2 times, let's see, 2 times 28.09, I get 
0.18 AMU. Okay, that's the total amount of silicon in my compound. 2 times 1.008, I get 2.016 AMU. And then chlorine, 4 times 35.45, 141.8. 141.8. AMU. And yeah, that's good. Now we want to find the molecular mass of the whole compound. So what are we going to do with these numbers, guys? Yeah, if we try to find the total, we need to add up all of the values. So I'm just going to add these three values up, and that's the total molecular mass of the entire compound. So 141.8 plus the 2.016 plus the 56.18, I get, whoa, I get 199.996 AMU. So roughly about, you know, clearly 200 AMU is the molecular mass of Si2H2Cl4. And that is your final answer. There you go, guys. Okay. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. I hope I'm helping you guys out. I love hearing from you guys and, you know, just how you guys are doing in your chem classes. Uh, we also have physics uh, videos to help you guys if you're in physics, and we also have math videos, so check out those. Um, we're almost at uh, 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, thank you so much for that. And if you want to subscribe, um, just smash the subscribe button. <laughs> corny. Corny, I know. But, you know, kindly press the subscribe button. Um, but if not, that's okay. Thank you guys so much for viewing the video. And I will see you guys all in the next one. All right? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.